I know I probably say every week that the thing that I am holding in my hand is utterly preposterous, but... <laughs> And in case it's not clear what happened there, this camera isn't just a camera. It's also a Zigbee hub, and it used Zigbee to turn the light bulb on. And that in itself is super weird, but that's not the weirdest part. It also mimicked this infrared remote to send a signal to my old school LED strip behind my lightsaber to change the color of it to red. And it did all this because I did that. What? But what if I told you that it did all this despite the fact that I had disconnected my internet connection? There is no internet, this is all operating locally. But on top of this, their camera fires infrared. And that, wait a minute, what does that mean for my television? You'll have to wait until later on in the episode to find out. It's bait. Baited by the master. You've just been master bait. Thanks to Akara for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their 2K Spinny Exorcist Head Cat Robot. The G3 has all the usual modern day camera features such as two-way talk, infrared night vision, and 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and free cloud storage for storing 10 second motion clips. It has a built-in zip. What? Free cloud? Free cloud storage? Yes, freak. I don't know who I'm talking to, there's no one there. Free cloud storage is enough of a reason on its own to probably buy this camera, but let me continue. It has a built-in Zigbee hub, which can pair up to 128 Akara Zigbee devices. It can stream its feed to Alexa and Google Home. Wow. It has AI human detection to follow people around the room, but this is where things start to get a little bit mind-blowing. The G3 can use AI to recognize a particular face and use that as a trigger to start an automation. This is insane. This means that I can look at the camera, the camera will see my face, and I can have it automatically close the privacy shutter because that's how powerful the Akara automations are. Oh, I've gone all shy. The privacy mode can be activated using schedules, automations, and geofencing. That's right, geofencing, because Akara have actually finally fixed one of the biggest holes in their ecosystem. You can now start routines based on your location, so if you leave the house, it can automatically open the privacy shutter back up again and start the alert system. The alert system, because this cat is also a house a lot. <laughs> I chose all those things for a laugh, but you could use geofencing as you left the house to enable the alarm, or have one of these buttons hit away and use this button to enable the alarm, and when you get home, you could use face recognition to disable the alarm if it sees my face or my partner's face, or, and this is completely mental, use an OK gesture to tell it to disable the alarm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And I'm sorry if I seem excited, it's for obvious reasons. I haven't seen a camera that does hardly any of these things ever. And it's using Akara's system, which I've always been a big fan of. The app, for example, has two separate sections for the storage. The storage is a timeline view, which will give you everything on the SD card, and an albums section, which will store motion clips to the cloud if you have enabled the recording of specific events. It has one of the most straightforward layouts I have seen of any app. You can even decide which type of events will record, and which type of events will send a notification, and choose at which times of the day the camera should be listening out for those events. The SD card slot takes up to 128 gig micro SD cards, and the only thing that's a bit of a disappointment is it's in its face instead of in the butt, which means I can't do my usual innuendo. Oh yeah, put it in my mouth! <laughs> no! He's gone too far this time! Hello? Yes? Points of view! Anne Robinson, please!
Yes, I'd like to report a very smutty YouTube channel. It's disgusting, pure owl filth. I only deal with complaints about the BBC, darling. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. I did a review of a 2K spinny exorcist head camera only a few weeks ago from EasyViz, so it makes sense to do a comparison between the two so you can see what the image quality is like. And I'm not going to pull my punches here, the EasyViz camera has a much more crisp image. And this is because the budgets have been spent in different areas. The EasyViz camera has none of that automation and no built-in Zigbee hub. Therefore, they've spent the budget on a slightly better sensor, and that's why you're getting a crisper image. These cameras both cost the same amount to buy. The EasyViz camera performs better at distance and suffers less with noise when there is movement on the screen. So what it really comes down to is whether or not the Akara image is good enough for your needs. If you're satisfied that the Akara image is clear enough that you can see what's going on in a room and you can make out a person, then it really is down to the rest of the features. And one of the big ones for me personally is the speed at which the camera will actually load, not only from their app, but also on the Amazon Echo Show, which it is absolutely the fastest I have seen any camera load. Now I'm filming the dialogue portion of this video before I've actually had a chance to test it at night. So I haven't actually seen the footage that you're looking at on your screen right now because I'm going to edit it in later. Consequently, I don't know if it's actually any good. It's not gotten dark yet. So um, please pick from one of the following options. Very bad. I was most unimpressed with the picture that I have just witnessed just now. That was okay. I could see adequately and was quite impressed. Incredible and amazing. I have just witnessed something phenomenal. The footage was incredibly clear. Please choose either option A, B or C now by pressing the subscribe button. Did that work? Press the subscribe button. One thing that the G3 does have over the EasyViz camera for certain is that you can actually turn the infrared light off, which means that you could point this at a window and it won't blind itself. It should hopefully see the outside world. I wouldn't know because I haven't tried it yet. As I said, I'm filming this dialogue before I've tested it. Make up your own mind. This is what it looks like. Is that good? Press subscribe to tell me. It's worth mentioning that RTSP is not supported by this camera by default. However, I have done a quick Google search and I can see that people have hacked this camera quite easily to make RTSP work and even get it working in Home Assistant. I'm forgetting to do something. Oh yes. Home Assistant! The Akara range is quite unusual in that it has a sensible price tag and yet still works with Apple HomeKit. This camera is one of those things. Cue footage of Apple CEO Tim Cook stroking the camera to illustrate compatibility. Excellent. And now cue Mr. Cook saying, good, good, in a menacing Star Wars voice for comedic effect. Good, good. Excellent. As I said before, this camera will load on the Amazon Echo Show and the Google Nest Hub and it loads faster than I have ever seen any other camera load its feed on those devices. The infrared signals can be taught from scratch, or you can pick them from a list if you have a TV that they already know about. And all I did to get voice control of the red button on my remote control was to simply teach it to Akara and then put that button in a scene in the Akara app, and then Amazon discovered that scene. I could then use that scene as part of a routine. You can use almost anything as both a trigger and an endpoint. I've used the camera as a trigger so that when it comes out of privacy mode, it can automatically say a thing out of its speaker. This is quite, quite brilliant. Oh, the Zigbee! <laughs> but as well as using the camera's privacy shutter as a trigger, I can also use it as an endpoint. For example, I can now have it point at my face, and if it recognizes my face, it automatically goes into privacy mode. So this thing is so powerful that between the gesture recognition, its ability to play custom ringtones, and fire infrared out of its little infrared sender, I can give it a wave, have it turn on all the infrared devices in my room, and play Star Trek noises. Accessing library computer data. 
This is gonna seem like a long list, but bear in mind the reason for the long list is because it can do so many things. Most cameras cannot even do the functionality that I'm about to discuss. First things first then, is either one or the other. You can't enable both face recognition and gesture recognition which is a massive shame, and I'm hoping that they can do some kind of an update to change this. You also have to choose between humans and dogs. I don't mean generally in life. I mean in the camera settings, you can only pick one or the other. Most people have picked their dog in real life. So the idea is that if you wanted to get it to track humans instead of your dog automatically, you could actually set something in the automations that said, if the alert is triggered, switch modes, because that's how powerful the automations are. So it isn't the biggest loss. Geofencing is unfortunately a little bit of a work in progress. You can't actually decide to say, only do the automation if we've both left the house. This means that things like the alarm system only work if you're terribly selfish or single. <laughs> then there's the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room. The Akara stuff only works with Akara stuff. Even though it's a Zigbee hub, you can't add Zigbee devices from another manufacturer. I heard a rumor that Ikea stuff worked with this thing. Doesn't, I've tried it. Unfortunately, you will have to use Akara stuff with this bridge, but if you were ever thinking of giving them a go, this is a pretty good excuse. You get a camera either way. If the alarm is going off because a burglar has come in, he only needs to press the button on its belly and the alarm stops. That's no good. I've told Akara this is no good and I'm waiting for a response. When I hear back from them, I shall let you know in the description what they said. I'm hoping that I've just missed a setting somewhere and I can turn that off because that's it's kind of silly. Aside from those things, and most of those are nitpicking, this is one of the best things I have been sent in ages. You can mount it from the ceiling and its little cat ears make it look like some ridiculously cute Batman. I am the knight, fear me. It has a cruise mode where it'll just go from one location to the other on a set schedule. And you can set this camera to continuously record 24 seven, which for me personally is a massive deal because most cameras do not do that. They only record on motion. This thing will go all day and all night. Oh yeah. Free cloud storage, a built-in Zigbee hub, and some of the cheapest devices on the market. This is one of my favorite cameras ever. If you're interested in buying one, as usual, there are links in the description if you want to pick one up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video, and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, I seriously would not be doing this anymore. I am doing this because of these people, and I am not working in a call center because of these people. If you want to be one of those amazing people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. Oh yeah, put it in my mouth. That's actually just terrible. <laughs> it's disgusting, filth, very puerile. I seem to be laughing about it anyway. <laughs> that okay? Is it good? 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 <laughs> As an Emperor Palpatine's a lovey. A lovey, darling. Yes. Thank you, Emperor Palpatine.